Hi, my name is Keenan Carmenzana and I'm from Pueblo West, Colorado, and I'm in the class of 2024 here at Columbia University. I'm currently majoring in political science with a concentration in psychology. Outside of class, I work in the theater department. On a typical day, I get up around 8.30 in the morning to get ready, and then by 9.30 I'm out of my dormitory headed to breakfast. I typically eat breakfast with a few friends before we're off to class. And then I have two classes during the day, one that starts at 1 o'clock. I head over across the street to attend my costume design course, get some dinner with some friends before I have my evening course, and then after that it's almost 9 o'clock, and my friends and I might hang out in a lounge or on the lawn outside and then we're up for a while talking when we should be studying, but then we decide to go out and get some really late midnight snacks, and then I'm in bed by 3 a.m. at least. So back at home in Colorado, before I was here on campus, my schedule was very different. I would get up 10 minutes before class, put on a t-shirt, sit in front of my computer for hours at a time. The biggest challenge shutting from home during the pandemic was to not distract myself using my phone or going on any other platforms of social media, and also wanting to talk to my friends throughout the day when trying to focus and learn the curriculum here at Columbia. I arrived on campus two months ago, and some of the best experiences in the first weeks were sitting on low steps with some friends and recognizing faces that I had only seen on Zoom. Those were some of the most memorable experiences thus far, besides going out to the city and experiencing whatever the city has to offer. I'm currently sitting in Havemeyer 309 that you may recognize from famous Hollywood movies such as Spider-Man or Ghostbusters. Here at the university, in order to graduate, you must fulfill the requirements of the core curriculum that are fundamental classes for you to become a well-rounded student. Some of the classes include Literature, Humanities, and Frontiers of Science. These classes provide you with a plethora of knowledge that will allow you to find your interest in many fields of study. Another thing unique about Columbia is that you do not have to major in order to graduate. My favorite core class so far has been Western philosophy, also known as Literature Humanities, what students call Lit Hum. So Literature Humanities is a course that covers multiple years of literature, starting from Plato and Aristotle to going through famous texts up to present day, such as Crime and Punishment. The class is a collaborative seminar that allows you to discuss, interpret, and debate famous texts, what the university calls the Western canon of literature. The canon is known as the basis of literature for texts that have inspired authors today that formulate how movies are filmed, how stories are written, and how characters characters are perceived by readers. I decided to major in political science here at Columbia University with a concentration in psychology. First, the reason I decided to major in political science is my dream to become a political speechwriter for the government. I really enjoy speechwriting and through political science, I'm super interested in being able to delineate patterns between government methods around the United States, but also doing international relations with other countries. Here at political science, the esteemed faculty allow me to have opportunities that I may not have otherwise gotten at other universities, such as being able to take a class that I'm in right now entitled Political journalism on the campaign trail that is taught on behalf of the national political correspondent of the New York Times. In regards to the Department of Psychology, I'm super interested in being able to learn how people process information and language in particular in regards to also writing speeches. I would love to learn how individuals are able to process language on a physical level as well as how we interact with each other on a daily basis. So in the Department of Political Science, there are many routes that you could take to fulfill the major. For me, I'm deciding to major in a concentration of American politics and possibly focus on international politics as well. Some of the other options include comparative politics or political theory. For the Department of Psychology, since I'm doing a concentration, the amount of work needed and requirements is smaller than a full major. I've currently taken the Science of Psychology, which is the first introductory level course for psychology, which then will be followed by socio-cognitive 
and behavioral psychology after that. I think the biggest change from taking a year of courses online to coming in person was actually being able to be in the presence of other people and to have real conversations in person. There's something truly remarkable about sitting down with other students or with faculty around a table and discussing your work rather than having to log into a computer and discuss it over the internet. It's a really welcoming and warm experience being able to collaborate and be together during this time after a year of many trials um, throughout the last 12 months. Behind me right now at Columbia University is the new cloud exhibit that lights up at night. Students gather here in honor of the last year. Just a nice place to hang out and look at at night. During the evening, it lights up pink and blue and changes colors frequently. Students like to gather around here. We talk, you'll see dogs playing around. And also, it's in part with the graduate school, the School of Sustainability. They're learning about um, weather and climate change, and this is in honor of that. The building right here is St. Paul's Chapel. That's a famous landmark here on Columbia's campus. People from all around the world come here to look at the beautiful, ornate decorations inside. Religious life here on the campus allows for many concerts, events, meditation, and prayers to be held in this facility year-round. If you are a student interested in applying to Columbia, there are a few things that you should note before doing so. One, you should be able to go onto the websites of any of the Columbia departments and reach out to any of the faculty, advisors, or staff members, and they'll be able to provide you with more information about that field of study. In addition, spend some time going through the websites and looking at the plethora of opportunities available on campus, from extracurriculars to meetings with famous faculty members to out-of-the-city excursions. There are so many resources out online to use, and just don't be afraid to reach out to current students, alumni, and staff members. Everyone is very supportive here, and they would be willing to help you. For my common application essay, I decided to write about duct tape as a metaphor for my life. I was inspired by a quote from my grandfather that he reminds me every day is that duct tape fixes everything. And I used this to write my Common App application to say that there are many different events throughout my life that have shaped me into the person I am today, and not everything can truly be fixed by duct tape. Since I've moved multiple times across the country, I use duct tape as a metaphor for packing, but also use duct tape as a metaphor for taping dance shoes together because I'm a dancer, and various other things throughout my daily life. I settled on that topic by being able to combine multiple facets of my interest, including the theater to academics, to being a part of my family. For the Columbia application, there are a few prompts that are special to Columbia, where you can list books that you have read, newspaper articles you've read, events that you have attended, that can help the undergraduate admissions officer better understand who you are as a person. In addition, there's one essay that is the very simple question, but oftentimes considered daunting, the Why Columbia essay. Like I said earlier about going on websites to look up information about the university, this is a great way to explore and tell the admissions officers why you want to come to Columbia. It's important to dig deep into the opportunities on campus and specialize into something that really would suit you. Over the last year, the pandemic has taught me many things, but I learned a lot about myself in particular. At home, studying in a, my room for multiple hours on end was not great. However, I learned that there are, you should be able to spread out the locations of your studying, from going outside, taking walks, and truly taking care of yourself. I found interest in doing yoga in the last year. When I'm here on campus, I find time to dedicate to myself, and with the gorgeous campus around us, we're able to take advantage of going to sit on the lawn and the nice weather outside. What I recommend, no matter what university you attend, is to make sure that you take care of yourself. Take time outside of class to spend time with friends, go on a walk, go to a different part of the city, or even just go outside. Just taking a small five minute walk will help your mental health and you'll be able to support yourself when you are at a university.
I'm currently standing on the East Bridge on the east side of campus that overlooks Amsterdam Avenue. Behind me is Lower Manhattan going down uh, to the south. During here at Columbia for the last two months, my friends and I have been able to walk down these streets and exploring the city at any time of the day. There are so many things in the city, it's nearly exhausting. You will never run out of things to do with your friends and family, no matter what time of the day or what time of year it is. My favorite place to eat around campus is actually right behind me. It's called Hamilton Deli. You can get a really delicious sandwich, snack, any time of the day. On the other side of campus, a famous pizza location is called Cornette's. They are open 24 hours a day and you can get jumbo slices of pizza. Um, my favorite thing to do with friends is late in the evening after a study session, we'll walk down as a group, get these really large pieces of pizza that we don't think we can finish, but then we get back and we finish the entire slice. My favorite thing to do in New York City is to not make an itinerary. Well, what we call subway surfing, we'll get off at a random stop and walk around the neighborhood and we'll go window shopping or we'll see a location like a thrift market, we'll go inside or even a museum. The most unexpected thing about living in New York City is the accessibility to many resources. The transportation and public safety here is wonderful. In September when we return for my sophomore year, the thing I am most looking forward to is the opening of Broadway Theater. To be able to bring the arts community back to New York City and to sit down with friends and family or even myself and enjoy a performance. Before coming to Columbia, I was not sure what extracurriculars I wanted to take part in, but then I saw a notification that they were looking to conduct interviews for the next round of uh, inductees to the Columbia Spectator newspaper. I was able to interview for the magazine called The Eye, and then I was selected to be a part of the team of The Ear Podcast, where they present content each month about historic things that occur here on campus. I am looking forward to getting back to the newspaper in the fall and helping to produce more content and even becoming a staff writer. So in partnership with Columbia University and Barnard College, I just recently finished a course for costume design and I'm now able to uh, volunteer and help assist through productions for the coming spring and the fall. Something I enjoy doing is to go to bookstores or drama stores and purchasing scripts and reviewing them and bringing back content for help them to produce or suggestions that they could present to members of the Morningside community. If you enjoyed the contents of this video and are interested in learning more about top universities around the world, please subscribe to Crimson Education.